Hello everyone, welcome to today's tip on using Clumzilla to back up your PC. Now, we select the default value which is the Clumzilla Live default settings VGA 1024 by 768. Normally that should work for most PCs, if it doesn't work for yours, you might try a simpler setting like 640 by 480, or if it really, really doesn't work, you might have to try fail safe mode. But normally, <coughs> this mode 1024 by 768 should be enough. And press enter. Okay, now it's loading Clonezilla. Okay, Clonezilla is now loaded. So I'll uh, select the default language which is English, then press enter. I'll uh, select the key map. Basically, I'm not going to touch the key map, so I select don't touch key map, then press enter. Okay, I'm going to start Clonezilla, so I press enter and leave it as a default option. Now I'm going to <coughs> work with the device image that is work with the, the partition using images. So just press enter. Now I'm going to use local dev, that means the local device, either the hard drive itself or the U or USB portable hard drive or USB drive. Then press enter. Okay, so <coughs> for example, let's say I want to plug in a portable hard disk now. I will, if I want to use a power behind this, I'll plug it in now. Wait about 5 or so seconds, then I will press enter. Continue. Okay, now I will select the my power hard disk, which is here. STC, 1, 320GB, TFS, blah blah blah. This external hard disk. Press, I select it and press enter. Okay, now I select the folder that will contain the Clonezilla image. In this case, I will create a folder called Ghost Image in preparation. Press enter. And I press enter to continue. So um, select, I'll select beginner mode. Right? Normally that's enough. Okay. Then I select to save parts. Basically, I'm not saving the entire disk. I'm just saving a particular partition. So I select save parts option. Then press enter. Okay. Now I enter the name for the image. Um, I'll leave it as the as the value that's given. So I'm saving an image on 2010 February 28th and press enter. Okay, I'll of course change the value later, but okay, now I choose the source partition to save. Okay, so my source partition save is SDA1. Sorry, yeah, correct. My source partition that I want to say is SDA1 which is my actually referring to the partition which actually contains my drive C. So I just select FDA1, then press spacebar, and so that a star will appear there to indicate that this is selected, then press enter. Okay, now I will press enter to continue. So he asked me, uh, am I sure I want to continue? So I type Y for yes, and then press enter. And now it's uh, creating the image. Okay, so the Clonezilla has finished backing up the image. Now I can press enter to continue. Okay, so if I want to reboot, I can just press 1 and press enter to reboot. So the Clonezilla is about to reboot the computer. So you asked me to remove the Clonezilla with this. Then close the tray and press enter the continue. 